In the previous video, we went ahead and gathered all the information for our financial ratio calculations. And we've got that recorded now on a single sheet. So that's what we're going to use to calculate our financial ratios. What I want to do now is go through the ratios in parts. I'm going to do each category in a separate video. Reason for that is otherwise it'll be a very long video. So we'll just break it down into little parts. And we're going to start with the liquidity ratios. The first liquidity ratio we have is the current ratio. Current ratio measures current assets divided by current liabilities. The idea of this ratio is that our current assets represent either cash or assets like accounts receivable and inventory that we should expect to become cash relatively quickly. Current liabilities represent money that we're going to owe relatively soon. So we want to make sure we have enough cash or things that are going to become cash quickly to pay off the debts that we're going to owe soon. And so this current ratio should ideally be at minimum one and preferably a little bit higher. A lot of people like to see the current ratio up around two in order to indicate a little bit of a margin of safety. Now, in a lot of things from chapter two, we talk about context and always have to look at reasons behind the ratios. You'll see some companies such as Walmart have very low current ratios and it's not really a problem. So when we're calculating these ratios again, remember these are quick looks and if we see something that looks wrong, we want to explain it and see if it is a problem or if it has something to do with strategy. But for right now, let's focus on the calculation. We want current assets divided by current liabilities. Our current assets were 8,441. Our current liabilities were 8,890. So now we're just gonna use those two numbers to get our current ratio. Current ratio is the 8,441 from our current assets divided by the 8,890 from our current liabilities. Get our handy financial calculator. And you don't need a financial calculator for this. Any calculator will do. But we just want the 8441 divided by 8890. And that gives us a current ratio of 0.95. Now, as I mentioned, in most cases, we want that current ratio to be a minimum of one and preferably up around two. At first glance, you might look at this and say, oh, there's some liquidity problems for Coca-Cola. But then when you think of a company the size of Coca-Cola, you recognize they're probably not likely to go bankrupt very soon. And it could be more of a strategy situation for them where they want to minimize the current assets, which aren't earning very high rates of return and not hold an extra cushion because they have other accesses to capital that they can use to generate money if they need to on a short term basis. Also, Coca-Cola's cash flows from income are very predictable, so they don't necessarily need to keep a cushion around in order to protect themselves. The quick ratio is another measure of liquidity. Here what we want to do is pull out inventory. The idea is that inventory is the least liquid of our current assets. It's going to take the longest to convert to cash. In order to convert inventory to cash, first of all, we have to sell it. In some cases, it might not even be completed inventory for a manufacturing firm. It could be a work in process, which means they have to finish it first, then sell it. If they sell it, it might be sold on accounts receivable, so then they might have to wait another month or two to collect the sales. So inventory is the least liquid, and we want to pull that out and see without our inventory, pulling that out of our current assets, do we still have enough to meet our current liabilities? That's our quick ratio. So we already talked about our current assets and current liabilities. Now we need our inventory, 1,641. So our quick ratio is going to be the current assets, 8441, minus our inventory, 1,641, 
divided by our current liabilities, 8,890. Again, go to our calculator. And we have the 8441 minus 1641. Then we divide by our current liabilities, 8890. And we get a quick ratio of 0.76. Now the quick ratio, a lot of times companies would like that to be at least one. Here we see Coca-Cola is below one. Again, at first glance, that might be a concern. I don't think it's a major problem for Coca-Cola. Again, Coca-Cola has a very predictable income stream, so there's less concern about them maintaining higher levels of liquidity. But again, that's one of the keys to ratios. You wanna calculate the ratio and then say, is this a potential problem or a potential strength? If it's a potential problem or a potential strength, then you wanna dig a little bit deeper and say, okay, is it really a problem? Or is it something we can explain due to the strategy of that particular business or other special situations related to that particular company? That wraps up our video on liquidity ratios. Next up, we'll be looking at asset management ratios.